Um, this week, we thought we would do a different kind of video again. Um, we get a lot of questions at Martin's Home and Garden about how to get rid of pests on your houseplants. We found some mealybugs on our Hoyas here, um, and we thought it was the perfect opportunity to show you guys how to get rid of mealybugs. Um, so at Martin's, uh, just like you should at home, we try to isolate our plants that we find bugs on. So if you see a cart back here behind our little booth area we have, um, those plants are being isolated. We try not to have plants out on the floor um, with pests on them because we don't want to send anyone home with a infested plant. Um, so we try to treat them as best we can before we put them back out for y'all to shop from. Um, so mealybugs and other pests sometimes happen because the environment indoors is not quite the same as their natural environment. It can be not as optimal um, in terms of sunlight, temperature, humidity um, for every single plant. It's just not going to be perfect. And sometimes this makes our plants more susceptible to pests. Um, pests don't have any kind of natural predators indoors, making their populations increase super rapidly. Um, so it's best to check your house plants for any kind of pests, um, mealybugs and so on. Um, a couple, every couple weeks throughout the month, just to make sure you're not getting any kind of pests because they'll spread from plant to plant, especially if your plants are close together. Um, catching them as early as possible is gonna be the best way to save your plant as fast as you can because plants or pests can take over and they will kill your plant and it's very sad. Um, but mealybugs look like small, cottony, white, fluffy blobs. Um, and they hang out, hang out around the little crevices in your plant, around the stem joints, so kind of just where the leaves grow out from. They, these little crevices that they have going on in here, um, and they hide on the back of plant leaves, on the front of plant leaves, literally anywhere they can get, they will get. Um, so be sure to give your plant a thorough look through every time you check it, just to make sure there's not any hiding anywhere that you may miss. Um, but they slowly, mealybugs slowly feed on the sap that comes from your plant's stems and leaves. So they're kind of sucking the life out of your plant slowly. Um, they can be very difficult to get rid of compared to some other pests. Um, if you have a really bad leaf that has a bunch of mealybugs, they can even lay eggs on the leaves. I would go ahead and just cut that leaf off. Um, it's not, it's better not to worry about trying to get rid of them all on one leaf, unless they're super small leaves like this, it may not be as much of a problem for you. But if it's like a big leaf and there's a bunch of mealybugs on it, just go ahead and snip that leaf off. It's gonna have a lot of damage from all those mealybugs sucking the life out of it. Um, so just go ahead and cut that plant off, relieve it of its stress. Um, but it's best to manually remove them if you're not cutting the leaves off, if you only have a few. Um, what I mean by that is taking like a cotton swab, um, a Q-tip, we're going to use paper towels in today's demonstration, um, and soaking it in either rubbing alcohol or something like insecticidal soap like we have here. Um, we have the Bonide brim, which you can find here at Martin's Home and Garden. Um, just soak your paper towel, your cotton swab, whatever you want to use with this before um, wiping down the plant leaves and getting rid of those family bugs. Um, so if your plant is severely infested, like we have one here as an example today, it's best to just toss them. It's best not to worry about trying to save a plant that has it so bad that it's too far gone. Like it's not worth saving. It is very sad and hard to let go of your plants, but it's just gonna spread to your other plants, um, which means you'll have to lose more plants than what you wanted to originally. Um, this guy has a ton of mealybugs that we are gonna show you some close-ups of. And I wanted to show you this guy because on vining plants like these, they're a little bit more visible than mealybugs are. But on plants like these, calatheas, philodendrons, um, alocasias, aglaonemas, they have those little crevices that the plant leaves sprout out from. Um, so you kind of have to kind of pull apart where the plant leaves are connected and make sure there is no mealybugs down in this area because they like to hang out um, just in the little crevices where they think you can't see them, but you're going to find them. So what we're going to do, we're going to toss that plant out of our life. <laughs> um, so we're going to show you how to get rid of mealybugs now. So we're going to take our paper towel 
Again, you can use whatever you have readily available, paper towel, Q-tip, cotton swab. Just thoroughly soak it. Um, and if you're using a chemical like this, make sure to wash your hands afterwards because they can irritate your skin. Or you can wear gloves, <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. And then you find your mealybug. Here we have this guy hanging out in the stem joint where the leaves are coming out. So we're just going to wipe it off. And every time you want to get a clean part of the paper towel, just so you're not putting the mealybug back on the plant. Um, and then here's another one. Just make sure you wipe it off. And you do want to use the chemical on the paper towel as to just using like water to make sure you're actually killing any eggs that you may have missed, um, any smaller guys that may not have come off as easy. Um, but that is pretty much it. You want to check out your whole plant though, like I said before. Um, you don't want to just see a couple leaves on the top and assume that that's all of them. They can be buried down in there. Um, so just double check every time to make sure you're not leaving any plants. And I mentioned at the beginning to isolate your plants. Um, that is probably one of the most important things, just so you don't spread it to your whole house plant collection. When you see a plant with bugs, make sure to move it in a corner where it's not going to be around any other plants. Um, that way, it's especially if your plants are close together, plant to plant contact, they can spread from plant to plant very easily um, and just spread throughout your whole collection, which is no fun. It'll be really hard to um, get rid of by then. But that is all for today, guys. I hope this helped you out. We do have an exciting announcement today. We are hiring here at Martin's Home and Garden. Um, we're hiring for some manager positions for our greenhouse department, our hard goods department. We also have some part-time positions available and some full-time positions available, but every open position will be listed on our website, which is gonna be linked in the description below. Um, we also have a house plant swap coming up January 15th at 10 a.m. The sign up is available on our website. It's $5 a person and we can't wait to see you guys there again. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.